Okay. Check, check, check. So you're good check, trip, JB. Awesome trip. Good to have you back. Check one, two. I'm sure we'll get into some of your shenanigans in the good. show today. Good to be back. Well, it's uh, it's rolling. It's cold here, though. I wish I was still in Vegas. We're it's rolling. It's nice and warm. It's probably plus 10 in here. Can you still say you're rolling when technically it's all digital now? Yeah, because it's rolling. Look. It's canny. Time is rolling. Is it rolling or is it just moving forward? It's canny. Time is moving the forward. The bar is moving. Time. Time is money. Time is money. Unless you're on a trip with JB. The That <laughs> is the theme for this week's show. <laughs> time is money. Is, <coughs> is it though? You didn't seem to agree that time was money. I did. I came back with I agree, but you were probably... Note to self. Even if somewhere. it's free, because it's been bought with points. Is money. Don't do a trip with JB. No, <laughs> exactly. It's much like his wife standing in the checkout lanes. Points. Right? You would love a trip with me, man. I pack I pack so much fun in. I would just meet you there. That's what I'd do. Yeah. You plan another trip like that. Yeah. You tell me when you'll there. arrive at the destination. I'll be yeah. there about 18 to 40 hours before. Well, you schedule it then. Having some fun, you and then you'll show up, and away we go. You seem to have all the tips and tricks, <laughs> so you, you schedule it, and I'll go. He is a veteran. Buddy, when you've been there 12 to 15 times, yeah. That, that, he is many, a that veteran. many times? I counted them up with the, the Fair Stacy the other day at least 12 times. Really? You know how many times my sister's been there? Wow. 48 Seriously. <laughs> Wait, we we got to get into this. So show. the last 20, I'd say, everything's covered. We're two right, minutes goes, for the... She's a roller. Two right. minutes for the intro. Yeah. Really? Yeah, It's but that ju- that's impressive, Warning. but scary. Because Warning. you know... Well, that's gambling. You know, like, they don't give money away in Warning. Vegas. So this she's paying for it somehow. is an injurious waste of time. Yeah. I'm should just going to keep talking after should, we start. So should we just... <laughs> an hour later. Let, let's kick off, and then we'll just keep yeah. the conversation going. Warning, this podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Warning, this podcast will be an injurious waste of your time. Yeah, good morning. I'll take a medium with two sugar and a medium regular, please. Yeah, so you know it's not good, <laughs> right? <laughs> like that, like MGM Grand just doesn't give ten thousand dollar vacations away to to meet to anyone. Meet, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. High yeah. rollers. Yeah, but you know it's fun. My the it's the fun. extent of my gambling in the three days that we were in literally yeah, in did you, Las we didn't Vegas even talk about this yeah. was a dollar uh, spent on penny machines. No. And I, I, you know, yeah, that was it. So no cards. I don't gamble. No cards. No roller. No, no sports book action. Nothing. So I'm we- disappointed that you didn't <laughs> at least go grab a nice cushy chair in the sports book and get free drinks and watch every sporting event that's on on the planet at the same time. Well, we we went and stood there. Like okay. we so so we walked we walked the whole strip. So we went yeah. from. Um, what the heck is it? The Mirage. Yeah. Uh, all the way to the past the Luxor. Okay, Mandalay Bay. Area. Mandalay Bay on on one side of the street, and then, then crossed, we crossed over, over to MGM Grand side, and then we walked back. all the way in and out of the casinos just to check like yeah. all the lobbies and the different areas because it's beauty. It's a sight to be seen. Uh, how they decorate these. These ah, casinos, right? It's you gotta just, go. It's just nuts. And there's so much more than just gambling. Am I right? Oh yeah. yeah. Like every single day, there's concerts everywhere. <sighs> now I was disappointed you never caught an Elvis show. Um. Well, I I I sent you guys pictures of Elvis, so sure. I saw I saw Elvis. I saw Elvis multiple times. I saw Elvis. You, you saw, saw Elvis a- in a motorized wheelchair. In a motorized you wheelchair. You saw a Elvis outside Elvis. of the Vegas Golden Knights game. Is it an Elvis or a Elvis? I don't know. It's the Elvis. And then I saw Elvis uh, doing karaoke on oh. the street. He was singing Losing My Religion by R.E.M. Wow. Was, uh, was, he, in a, was he in a <laughs> motorized wheelchair? <laughs> was that he in a motorized cool. wheelchair? <laughs> no, that guy was just standing on the side of the road. That's another. Um, those are the two Elvises I saw. 
Because did I not send you the link to the All Shook Up concert? No. No way. Damn. No, you, you mentioned it. You seem too busy, actually. You so mentioned I didn't wanna, it, but yeah. by this time, yeah. we we got tickets to go see uh, Absinthe. What is that? That was us. Uh, it's in front of... Is that Cirque du Soleil? No, it's not. But it's, oh. but it's a comparable thing, I guess. Oh, but okay. it's like a... Like a a comedy, adult comedy, okay. acrobatics in this small tent. Any bare bottoms? Uh, no, they everybody was fully, fully clothed. Fully clothed. So when you mean by but, adult, then. but you La- saved the bare bottoms for the hotel room. But La- Las Vegas fully clothed, you know, <laughs> which is scantily, <laughs> scantily clothed. Nice, um, very nice. We <laughs> saw you two at the Sphere. Excellent. Which was. Mind blowing, but no Sunday Bloody Sunday. Lady Gaga showed up, nice uh, to to sing along with two of his songs midway through the show. Okay, I'm did not people a big fan boo of you two anymore? Did people boo when she came on? No. Okay. Everybody lost it. Everybody Seems like a different nuts. genre, like a different crowd, like a U two crowd loving Lady Gaga. It's Vegas, man. That's true. Everybody kind of sings Loves with everybody. everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we went and saw Vegas Golden Knights. Lose their ah, uh, not they didn't lose versus I guess they, the Chicago Hockey Club. Yeah, Bedard scored a goal. Mm. Um, they oh, went he finally into, got a goal, did he? They went into overtime, oh, and nice. uh, so Vegas had won eight straight games. Oh, so we were there for their. I did not know that overtime loss. Cool, and uh, you were a cooler. Hawks. You were an actually you were a Vegas cooler yeah. on the performance of the <laughs> Appar- <laughs> apparently. And then the last That's uh, a good the last thing that, we yeah. did, we bought would, would would some of the Podbeanskis not understand a cooler is a cooler someone is? that just crashes your karma at the tables like exactly. your luck. So my my mother is the cooler to my sister. Oh, is she really? <laughs> is she? I, I heard that yesterday. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah. My sister's <laughs> been on a decent run back here locally at the at the yeah. gaming tables. How many tables. times has your mom been? Not as many as my sister, but way more than me. Probably 30, if I had to guess. Wow. Yeah. So your mom's the cooler for your sister. My mom is the cooler for my sister. you ever see that movie? No. you never seen that movie? It's called The Cooler? Yeah. Is that a pick for this week? Uh, It could be, I guess. What's it about? Just that. Gambling and cooling? Yeah. Really? Huh. Yep. I never even heard of it. It's starring, uh, well, maybe we can get a fact check in there, JB. I think you just made it up. Nope. Fact check. Fact check. Is it a Mac Damon flick? It is not a Mac Damon flick. Who's the guy? Who's who's Mac Damon? (laughs) Is it not Matt Damon? My words are coming out partially correct because it's so freaking cold. Yeah, we didn't say we're not at Scotty's this week. Live from DDT's Garage Cave in Canada South. Four Four degrees outside, which would be what in Fahrenheit? Uh, it would be 30 about 30, 36? Six. Sure, good guess. Yeah, yeah. 38. Maybe around there. Somewhere. Something like that. Yeah. Um, The Cooler, yeah. The Cooler, okay. It's. Uh, I got the guy's name, the the star. On Al the, Pacino? No, on the tip. Have William you H. Checked H. Macy? Out, have you Will, checked out William the, H. William H. Macy? William H. Yeah. Macy. The Cooler. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Truly down on his luck, lonely single guy, Bernie Lutz. Uh, which is William H. Macy, works at a Las Vegas casino where he uses his innate ability to bring about misfortune in those around him to jinx gamblers. <laughs> That's into a cooler. Losing. Yeah. That's wow. hilarious. Okay. Yeah. It's a good movie. Huh. Really good movie. Maybe actually. I'll check it out. I don't trust your movie picks normally, but that sounds interesting. Yeah. It sounds like a good one. It is. Mm. And then finally, it. yeah, we saw Billy Idol. Oh, boy. Rock the cradle. And he was... White wedding. He was uh, awesome. And this was... The, the the modern day Billy Idol, sixty seven years old 67. man. This was the penultimate he, of your Vegas. He trip. has he had no that was you too, but um, his voice was incredible, and wow. I love Billy Idol. Like I grew up listening to that music, right? Wow. As as you did, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, I didn't mind a little Billy Idol. Um, mm. But yeah, it was Duff's a country. Great guy. show in the only recently small crowd, like th- three thousand in the theater. That's it? Yeah, it was a three thousand capacity. For, uh, That's perfect. That's perfect. It's probably good, yeah. Intimate. It was good, intimate size, yeah. 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 How were, were you, the acoustics? Were you out of your seats? Great. Acoustics were Stand, good. We bought standing, standing room. room tickets. Standing well. room seats? Seems like the theme of the trip. For we, you. we tried to uh, not spend like a ridiculous sure. amount of money, which is easy to do in Vegas. <sighs> Tell me about it. Like a, a Starbucks coffee in, in, no. our, in our hotel lobby was. Never. 
was seven dollars no. US. Why? Why would you do that? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like so no. Oh, my wife would be all over that. No. There's no point. I know, but there's yeah. a there's the a best point. the best deal in Vegas. There are deals if you know where was to look. In and out burger. Yeah, baby. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic yeah. burgers. The yeah. burgers were like four simple. Four three dollars or four dollars. Yeah. yeah. A milkshake was two eighty five. Yeah. The the lineups were out the door, hmm. but simple but delicious. Yeah. And you know what? Best they, deal. They are predictable as DDT not changing his trousers. Like you can go anywhere in the where, southwest where that come and from? find an in and out <laughs> burger. JB, and you'll find the lineups, the little guys with their white hats yeah. and everything, uh, and you'll get your $3 burger and fries. Yeah, everywhere. It, it's fantastic. Yeah. Like, limited menu, but they do it right. Super cool. Yeah. yeah, we hit a few of those on the old Route 66. That was the other thing that we hit. We hit... Yes. Um, what did we hit? You hit a small portion of it. The Peach, Mother Road. Peach Springs, which was a disaster, because we, we expected... A lot there, but there wasn't There's anything there. There's not much. And then we went to King Kingsman. Kingman with the big McDonald's and the Kingman, yeah, Kingman. which was awesome. Yeah, you like Kingman, eh? Well, that's where we we found that sign. Yeah, that's right. And I then that. right across the street, there was this awesome little fifties diner. Yeah. Um. So we went in there, had a milkshake, kind of sat around, chatted with the staff, and it was it was really nice. I'm very envious of this trip, and I would like to go back. Would you uh, would you do the same kind of uh, travel uh, planning as JB? I can't do trips like that anymore. I just don't have the energy. Like drive Time three and a half hours, grab a flight, but go if, to a connecting if flight. I would. I would. Because you were saying earlier, did, time is money. You did that this summer, though. Here's no totally different trip. That was all about the but the, the route. road. But that was super busy too. Is what I'm saying. Well, or is it a different? We're comparing apples and oranges. Just real quick, like to to fly to to fly anywhere. I would drive to Syracuse and fly if it saved a ton of money. But I wouldn't. Time is money. I wouldn't now because this flare air that we've talked a lot about, nothing beats it. But the problem is it, if is you money. have yeah. if you have no plans, like flare can cancel sure. your tickets at the last second. No like doubt. They, they've, they've been sketchy. Yeah. So so we we actually had concert <clears throat> tickets. Like we can't. You don't want to take a chance. We can't not go, right? Yeah. If I'm going and then I'm going to play it by ear and buy last minute tickets to stuff, I don't care who I'm flying with. Right? Sure, but we so we wanted something a bit more reliable. Gotcha. Because I've Air heard Canada, I've heard bad stories. We f we flew American Airlines, which was really good. Yeah, but you flew, you drove to Syracuse, grabbed the plane, ended up in North Carolina, and then all the way to Vegas. Do you do you fly direct when you go normally? It's a mix. We have we we had carry on. Usually, the, pro the, the problem is the like, direct is Ottawa, Toronto. Toronto correct. Vegas. The problem is these day, like in the past, direct as uh, direct as you could get would be a drive to Montreal or Toronto, and then fly to Vegas. Okay. So I've done a bunch of those for sure. Right. I've done. It's weird. Like Calgary, Vegas seems to be a really common, significant Canadian route. So a lot of the. Vegas trips from the east go to Calgary and then to Vegas. I've done that a few times. It's weird, eh? Yeah. Like you're 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 usually flying across then down. Yeah. Instead of diagonally across uh, the country, yeah. which is weird. Well, here's the thing. Like you're super. You came into the garage cave this morning, looking like hell, basically Thank warmed you. over, tired, Thank you. chilly, Fro frozen over, and. uh Shaking a little. Much. Yeah, shaking. You're all dressed up. Normally, you would come at four degrees. Shorts and flip flops. Yeah, exactly. And then head up to your lot and no, do I, some work. I actually have clothes on today. But you're warm, like all bundled, like, dressed and up. And I'm still and, cold. And you look like basically hell coming into the garage cave this morning. Well, I got like four or five hours of sleep every night yeah, just so because we packed so much in. So is that normal. what is? And then traveling 20 hours to get home. But it was awesome. What a What a trip. The Wait. worst must have been that drive from Syracuse home, though, at ten and uh, ten at night or whatever. That was all right. Yeah, you weren't yeah. tired. No, mm. no. Whew. Which it, bridge it, did you take? Gananoque. Thousand Islands. Uh, thousand Islands. Yeah. Gananoque. Yeah, Thousand Islands. Well, I look forward to trying Flair. I mean, if it's direct and they don't cancel it, it's Ottawa to Vegas in five hours. You leave here at ten in the morning. You get there at like one o'clock local time. We're going. We you can't beat it. We're we're probably going back. No, so we might no. be going to Florida for the second kind of week of Christmas nice. to just go visit my, my try mom Flair and then. my stepdad, and we might try Flair then. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, they fly in and out of Florida. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. 
Who got who got less sleep? Me or you? Who's colder? I am. Fort Lauderdale. That's like espresso. But it's nice. It was you know I I missed my kids tremendously because we don't typically travel without the kids. Right. So this was like you know first big trip sans kids. Yeah, and it was it's it, nice. Know, eh? I missed them. Lots but, of you know what? But there was <laughs> Jesus. What? <laughs> but they're responsible. No, no complaining. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, lots of you know what? No uh, trying to please them and make it all about them. It was about you for once. Uh, I love pleasing my kids. You know that. But but it was nice. It was nice. So to you pleased go. your wife this time. <sighs> Is there a cricket sound effect or a wah 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 wah? I'm I'm. If much, you edited this, you I'm could much put better at ignoring his childish if, antics. If, but if, if, Is it? It's really too bad that he's the producer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't have to put in the cricket sound if I don't want to. <laughs> it's yeah. hard. It's hard. Yeah. That's what she said. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I knew that was coming. And beat me to it. Well, so what, what else do we, do we have? <laughs> what else do we have? Like we uh, Apologies for the la- last 15 minutes about, of the show. I could talk about travel in Vegas forever, man. Yeah. We didn't even talk about the stuff outside of Vegas, for heaven's sakes. Like Flagstaff, you know, Flagstaff like, was oh. a fantastic desert ski yeah. town. Well, like, we got to think. We can't think about high us. desert, high desert. See, so, we're thinking about us. We got to think about our listener and what they want to hear. I just want to make sure JB knows that Flagstaff is not a desert town. I, I was surprised. High desert. I was surprised <laughs> at um, the elevation. Yeah, yeah. Seven What's the elevation? Feet. A Flagstaff. Well, so when you're at the Flagstaff Resort, so Ooh. the ski resort, That's like higher you, you kind of drive awesome. up, you're like 9,000 feet yeah. above sea level. Yeah. What's sea Flag- level? Uh, zero. zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go. We don't want to go back to DDT's uh, math deficiencies yeah. in math. <laughs> so Flagstaff is like 6,500 okay. above sea level or yeah, something. Some, so. I thought it was about seven, but yeah. whatever. Give or take. Like yeah. would would like the Pacific Ocean be classified as sea level? Yeah. So, <laughs> you're are you feeling it though when you're just walking around doing anything? Or no, 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 no. Like, but a couple times I'm like, you know, we went. Yeah, for but you're in great shape though. I I am because people still, feel it. Yeah. yeah, like I I so I you know there's a bit thin up. There, I would right? like oh I'll, I'll run up this little hill kind of thing and yeah, it's like yeah. and it's like I'm fine but then I can't catch my breath. Yeah, yeah like same. a hypoxia yeah. or something. When I did my 5Ks in Flagstaff in the summer, it felt more like a... It felt... Well, it just felt harder than a 5K here. Yeah, for sure. like the exercise level yeah. is the same. You yeah. just can't catch it's your breath. It's not the same yeah. as climbing Everest, but it's yeah. getting... No, no, it's not comparable to that for sure. But yeah. but it's... um, You can feel the effect. But yeah. like just great little breweries in oh. Flagstaff. Yeah. Um, You know, just an awesome little can town. Can you get uh, Perth Lager down there? Last Duel? Uh, I didn't see that one. When we do our boys trip there, we will partake mainly in disc golf and mountain biking. It'll be a fun trip. I told you I googled it, eh? Like everywhere I went, like because I was talking yeah, to, I just was to talking show them to how popular it was. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I'm like saying, oh, there's you know three courses in Ottawa. And it's, it's ridiculous, like, and it's like it's popular in the U.S. They're like, really? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude. There's Look like, the- <laughs> and there's like 30 courses around yeah. us, right? Yeah, like you can throw a stick, but you don't see them anywhere. It's so bizarre too because it's not. Even though it's that popular, it's not a mainstream sport. Like well, it's, it's still not, not advertised you don't anywhere. See it There's everywhere. no signs. No, but Come if you know where to goal. go, you'll see it. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so I'd, in Flagstaff, well, I'd like probably five or ten nice little courses. They were all around. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't actually go. I like, played the one on the University of Northern Arizona, and what a campus too. We, you guys we went. Your, uh, I'm just gonna go. We in went and, and visited. Put my mic the, down. The university. You guys can have your love the, fest. Please do. There's a big dome, the big sports dome yeah. in, in Flagstaff. Yeah. Really nice university campus. Oh, it's, yeah. Like it's like a it's like a Kingston almost. Is that university right? of like Phoenix? It seems like a really party town. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's beautiful. The young lady that we were talking to at the oh. hotel. Um, that Which young w- lady was this? That was from Vegas. Um, uh, was she a dancer? No. She was uh, the lady that was working at the bar there. Uh, the bartender and then she uh so she was saying it was extremely expensive to live in vegas but she said even in flight really? staff she was paying twenty eight hundred dollars in rent every month no how yeah. far is flagstaff from vegas uh four hours about four and a half hours well yeah. that'd be a long drive 
but we broke it up like with different no, things. No, I mean if you're going to way. work in Vegas and renting in places. No, 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 no. She so she used to live in Stay she's with from us, DDT. She's from Vegas and she ended up moving to Flagstaff. I tuned out at at the opening. Cuz she couldn't put up with the stuff with working in Vegas, no. I guess. Good right? for her. So I can't but believe it's 2800 in Flagstaff. 2800 and like she has one bedroom, two young kids. Two you bedrooms. know, she didn't want them kind of yeah. growing up in the Vegas stuff. Three bedroom? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Mind don't you, though, like, I don't know if Flagstaff is, like, upstate New York. Like, are they looking for workers everywhere? And are they paying, like, Dunkin' Donuts employees 22 bucks an hour? Because it kind of adds up if that's the case. Maybe. Like, did it seem like it was a worker's market? Like, were places short-staffed? Was No, no. Oh, no, okay. There was people everywhere. Service was fantastic okay. everywhere we went. Okay. Like, really really good service nice people <coughs> uh just super friendly right on yeah because we've, t- we've talked about this before like the the minimum wage is gone irrelevant down there because they will pay people 22 bucks an hour to serve coffee now yeah 22 us yeah and we're not paying our guys 30 bucks an hour no. here so i think we're gonna i'm surprised quickly Starbucks. turn into a banana republic i'm <laughs> I'm sur- surprised Starbucks. DDT keeps voting liberal. I never voted liberal. That's JB. No, that's no. you, buddy. Anyways, continue. Yeah, I did. With your riveting side tail. Uh, no, I was just going to say, if Starbucks can charge $7 for a coffee, mm. they should mm. be able to afford to pay their employees a living wage. You would think. In Vegas, though, eh? Yeah. Vegas is, has always been an anomaly. But I it, mean, they even charge 7 bucks here. How much do they pay their baristas? Well, I disagree. I think if you just get a basic coffee at Starbucks here, it's probably four bucks Canadian. No. Yeah, three yeah. something, yeah. close Se- to four. Seven yeah. U.S. is a whole different. Seven ball U.S. Game. is ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. So the trick in Vegas. Well, we back well, to my Vegas wife, again. My wife uh, buys yeah, you're, a Starbucks. You're excited to go. Yeah. So look, though, if you're at Mandalay Bay, which I encouraged you to stay at, and you chose not to, if you buy the Starbucks coffee there, sure, eight bucks, whatever is. You got to find the little food courts that are connected to the casinos. Is Mandalay Bay the one that's close to Luxor? Right beside Luxor. It's the biggest uh, strip resort to the south on the strip. Are these that, all uh, still owned by the mafia? So if you go to the food courts, what you'll find is like a there's decent like a Krispy Kreme or a Dunkin's. Yeah, or yeah, a, yeah. You'll find <laughs> these little breakfast spots. So. It's silly to think you're you. It's silly to think a fifteen dollar breakfast in Vegas is a deal, but it is. Yeah. Right? If you get uh, bacon and egg, hash Canadian? browns, and 22? a coffee for fifteen bucks, twenty two compared yes. to Canadian DDT's wife's nine dollar Starbucks just yeah. for the coffee. We that, uh, we that act- stuff's tip of the day for when you're in Vegas. You got to find the food courts. Like we, okay. we our, tip- our our whole experience was to. St- like our whole idea was to spend money on experiences and not food. So perfect. We so kept, you didn't eat. We kept it really simple. Like you know, fa- fast food most of the time. How are you um, going there, Duff? I'm gonna apologize for are the listener to having to listen to DDT for the next little bit while I go use the facilities. Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> what was that? Why did you <laughs> rub the microphone on your crotch? The facilities. Oh, <laughs> about that. Jeez. So Matthew Perry. Uh, oh, you want to get? You want to bring the show down? I don't no, know. This, it was already down enough. With God, twenty God re- minutes. You know, uh, three God, minutes of our condolences to his family. Uh, I I religiously watched yeah. Friends. Yeah, I watched it back in the day too. End to end, and I re I rewatched some of the episodes because uh, my my daughter like it was when it went on. I don't know, it was on Netflix or something like that. She went right. and actually watched the whole series. Um, he he had he like he just released a book and he's been I know. he's had some issues obviously with addiction, addiction and all sorts yeah. of stuff and he was apparently clean but I mean he's he's our age right I think he's fifty four yeah like a couple you know a couple months older than than me and kind of a you know a few years younger than you I think yeah um couple and he's. He's put his body through some crap, right? Like, yeah. Apparently, he was sure. just played two hours of pickleball, which is, you know, too yeah. bad. Uh, Duff's not here to chat uh, about pickleball. Yeah, yeah. But um, then went home, was in the hot tub, and just 
apparently drowned. The hot, well, apparently he had a, a cardiac issue. Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, that's what came out a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if they've confirmed that yet, but. Uh, yeah, they said there was no foul foul play, yeah. no drugs, no alcohol involved, and stuff like that. What I so. watched is I watched a clip off Jimmy Kimmel. Did I say this at the beginning? Yeah, you did. You were very excited about that, which is sad. Did I say this on the podcast, or was no, it just it was, private it was, to you guys? It was private to us guys. Yeah, that I guess he went to school with our esteemed prime minister. Well, he's an Ottawa guy, right? Which yeah. is um, why I'm bringing it up. So he was apparently born in Massachusetts or something like that, and then they moved to Ottawa, and he went, you know, grew up in Ottawa. Yeah. Went yeah. to school with Justin Watch Trudeau. Like Tom Cruise. Went to school with Justin Trudeau and, and then beat him up. Uh, beat him up. Apparently, there was like this is bullied him. Grade school. Yeah. yeah, grade school. No, it was like university. No, it was grade school. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had bullied him in in grade school. Uh, Duff's back. Duff's back. So just yeah. don't uh, rub the mic on your crotch again. So Matthew Perry. We're talking about Matthew Perry real quick since he's an Ottawa boy, and he went to um, he. he what had, school did he go to here? I don't you know. go to like Glebe, Collegiate, I don't, I, I or I don't remember. Lisger. Somebody should look that up. Lisger. Uh, he uh, he was playing pick. He played pickleball for two hours. Then I guess he had a cardiac issue when he was back home and drowned in his hot. Tub. It could happen in the hot tub, I guess, because it's hot. Well, you're dehydrated. You're hot. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's too bad. So plus, I, with his other unfortunate addic- addiction issues, he probably put his heart through a lot of condolences. Stuff. He his body was in rough shape. He but looked he, older than he was. Really, he looked considerably older than yeah. he was. It's too um, bad. Yeah, Ottawa Senators fan. So too bad. Yeah. Exactly. You guys done? Yeah, we're done. Are we going back to Vegas again? Did you know when you're cold, it's really good to have a pee. Because your body spends so much energy keeping a full bladder warm that you feel cold elsewhere. Remember that. So if you can release all that unnecessary content that your body's trying to keep warm, the rest of your body will be warmed up more efficiently. So I feel great right now. Now, unless you guys want to keep talking about Matthew Perry, I'll keep talking about the outdoors and Vegas. So one of my favorite spots. So we just spots. had that cricket sound effect there. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. You want to mark the time? Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was in there. Oh, my God. You better put it in the Matthew Perry discussion. <laughs> no? No. It was, okay. It was quite enlightening. Was that exciting? Yeah. It was good. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it. Did you flush? I might have to. Ooh, bad news about the bathroom. Oh, did you clog it? Well, two things. Yeah. First of all, DDT's bathroom has two doors into it. Yes. Oh, oh no, you left, you one, left open? one open? Have you, ever, have you ever heard of this before? It's the only bathroom I've ever been in with two doors. I know, right? It's quite unique. No, Jack and Jill bathrooms. Every Jack and Jill bathrooms has two doors. No, like you, one but goes this into is just a Jack bathroom. There's it? no Jill in this one. There well, is. this is a family bathroom. It's a powder room on the main level, it which is. you very rarely see has two doors. I will concur with you. Well, it has. I've walked in there yeah. unzipped. Yeah. And, and I'm like ready door. to go, and then I look over, yeah. and it's like shit. There's another, there's door, another door where the motorbike, <laughs> where the motorbike is in that room with the Christmas lights. Uh, anyways, one of the doors doesn't close properly at all. It's oh. like jammed or something. Okay. So I don't know. Thanks for letting me know. I really tried closing it, and I couldn't. So did uh, did Winston say hi? I couldn't find Winston. Oh, he probably couldn't hear you. Is he around? He is. I haven't heard the goose calls when he barks. Yet. He's uh he's <laughs> his his he's. he's Going oh. deaf, right? So uh, uh, doesn't even uh, hear me coming in the house anymore. Poor Winston. Yeah, fourteen years old. What else did you have on your master list? Because you had some good stuff there. Well, I I think we had uh, which we never got to the list off the top of the show because oh. we we kept going on the Vegas. Thing. There was one. Did you want to talk about the minor hockey situation or not? Really? Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a weird. I don't want to talk about it either. Situation. I thought you did though. No, I didn't bring that up. In okay, the, in the I had that in the column with Matthew Perry. Oh, you did, eh? That's be, two. Being a good friend, I would have talked about it, but I don't want to. Okay, well, what else? it's just, you know. They don't want to talk about it. It's the that, old minor no. hockey parents thing. Oh, and he's talking it's about it. Pretty okay. brutal. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the other thing was um, some parking ticket woes. Did yeah. I tell you guys about my parking ticket? No. no. I thought Please maybe do. I discussed that on uh, the Cop Car Coffee podcast a few weeks ago. If we did, so, it, okay, if we well, did it, it was not very memorable. I'll try to not make it into a Tony Gabriel, but Tell us. Um, it's already there. It is already there. It's going to be a bit of that because I got to give you the backstory. 
So I book a massage, right, downtown. I'm downtown. Right on. Book a massage. It's also downtown. So I go and go there. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon, my massage. I leave work. I go try to find parking. There's parking there on the side street. I go to pay. You gotta, it's got the machine, right? You got to pay in the machine. You could, and they take credit cards. So I whip in one of my credit cards. Invalid card. Okay, and I was like, well, I know that's not invalid. Cause it's still there. And so try it again. Same thing, invalid card. So I whip out my other credit card, put that in, invalid card. Now I'm... Now so I'm now late. you've given the scammer uh, information for three different credit cards. Probably. Lovely. I didn't put in my bank card, though. Anyway, now I'm begin- getting late for my appointment. So I said, what the hell am I going to do? I just go in. I leave it, I go in, say to a receptionist, yeah, the freaking machine out there is not working. She goes, oh, I've been hearing of that a lot today Yeah, from people coming in. JB, you look really interested. Keep going. Oh, thanks. And um, you're looking up, like, looking around my garage cave. I'm What's just that? checking out this airplane that's using the highway as a runway. It's kind of cool. Sheep Creek Lodge. Continue. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. So I go in, she goes, yeah, you might want to take a picture of that. And I go, well, I just hope I don't get a parking ticket. So an hour later, after my wonderful massage from uh, Dragon, I come back out. And of course, there's a parking ticket. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. 70 bucks. That's a good deal. That's a good deal? <laughs> parking tickets I hope you're gonna fight that, it yeah. you're gonna fight well it. here's the thing it's extortion basically well no it's not it's it is it is because I do I do put in for like a fight or review whatever they call you it you might get a good JP that sa- that shows sympathy because the stupid meter or the the system didn't work for you to pay that's that's your well no chance. this is what happens right so you you put it in I take pictures I send that in yeah good okay yeah with the, yeah. the invalid card thing right yeah exactly and uh, I send it in they review the ticket. It comes back to me. We've reduced it to twenty five bu- twenty five bucks. Oh, you sorry, can, it's all been dealt with. It has, but you can either pay the twenty five bucks or go to court. Oh, still right. So it's like, not only that, if you pay it online, they charge you a dollar fifty mm, fee. <laughs> at this point, I'd pay the twenty five bucks. Well, I did, but that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's okay. an ex- it's twenty six fifty gotcha. with that stupid fee, and basically they're extorting you, in my opinion. Don't take criticism from people you would never go to for advice. What does that mean? That's what I'm telling you. Okay, I don't <laughs> I don't know what that means <laughs> for this story, but anyway. I'm glad I'm like in like interesting. You guys are like <laughs> tuning out here. I don't know what JB is doing. I'm uh, looking up uh, Matthew Perry. This well, there's nothing we, that, there's uh, nothing lose our to listeners. Well, no, your 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 story was over. Yeah. It was over, but I, I have, feel that it is extortion. And you did the right thing. I think. That, you but know, it's not extortion. It shouldn't have, I shouldn't have had to pay anything, basically, for their broken machine. The receptionist thought they want you to download the app. Uh, I, I, I would That's why they I would have moved my car, I've first of all. I couldn't move that, it anywhere. That would have been my there first thing. There was no thing. other parking spots on Second the street. Second thing, I would have I left a note on, on I was my already car late. saying... Yeah. You know, machine is broken. Please don't take it me. Yeah, but still. I like, wouldn't do the note, but I. The I note thing anybody could there. do. Yeah. And I also I, wouldn't get a massage downtown. Like I'd get it in it's a close suburb. to my work. That, that makes no sense. It sounds like, it sounds sketchy. It sounds it? sketchy. Like there's a million massage places with ample free parking. Like around here. Yeah. where it's close probably, to my work. Like, Dragon is a great masseuse. Unlimited. I, For just, a guy, is he still called a masseuse? <sighs> couldn't tell you. If it's a guy, I, is it a masseuse? Just the fact that it's. I hope you've learned your lesson. Dragon, Dragon Laskovic. He's uh, he's uh, he's. Uh, oh, that's the name of the place. Uh, no, that's the, the name the, of the, the ma- my massage guy. Okay, I yeah, he's that great. Was the place. Former fighter pilot. I hope you've learned your lesson. <laughs> Thank you, Duff. What else do we have? <laughs> what else do we got? DDT. Ottawa won. Big win. We're big probably win by the Sens last probably night. Probably getting close to an night. hour. So you guys were talking about Vegas. What about a cap? What a are captain? You to, are you trying to cut one there? What a captain? What do you mean? I don't know. He's scoring goals, man. The only thing I want to talk about big fights, big plays from last night's Vegas. game is this. Okay. What's that? I am a thousand percent done with the GD review of a goal. Because offside? 18 minutes earlier, there was a freaking offside by half an inch. Yeah, that's I ridiculous. Know. My team, their team, it doesn't we got to move on from that. Yeah, yeah the offside thing is 
pretty shitty review, if yeah. you ask me. There, there should be a very, very limited time window to be able to do that. You got like 30 seconds after a play to Let's call go, it. But well, can't the, uh, can't the league, like they usually, sometimes Make it they either fully do the horn during the game, yeah, right? Or let the linesmen do their job. When the puck goes in the net, they get the little... Oh, that's a joke. No, and why can't they do that for an offside 30 seconds later? Let's just get rid of and then the it. It doesn't impact the actual goal no. then at the re- all. Then the review no. is like six minutes long. They, they very rarely outside. reverse something, right? I'm, I'm, like I'm pretty much done with a lot of that shit. Like, another thing I hate is the high stick that turns into a goal. If if a wow. guy is skilled enough or freaking lucky enough to deflect that puck down from shoulder height into the net, call it a freaking well, goal. Well, shoulder height is fine. No, oh, it's no, not. It's, a goal. it's, no, it's the, above the, goal. the belt. It's the crossbar. The crossbar, It's the yeah. crossbar. Yeah, that's right. You're so right. you're telling me if you deflect it down from shoulder height, it doesn't count, but if you deflect it down from crossbar height, it counts. Like it's, it's a joke. Yeah. yeah, it's a skill, and it's amazing when they do it. Let it count. You know what? It is another. Got to speed up the game. Got to speed up the game. You know what's another joke? What? Suspending a guy for forty-one games oh, for betting. That's what was when on the list. Tons bet, of advertising. Bet ninety-nine yeah. is yeah. on their helmets. Is on their helmets. Yeah. Good memory. Bet uh, way or whatever it was. That was on the list. Yeah. It's bet 99 that's on their helmets, right? And it wasn't, apparently it wasn't. Bet 99.net. It wasn't betting George against. George St. Pierre. It wasn't GSP. betting on. on. We uh, don't know. JB, we don't know. Well, well that, it was a third party, apparently, that used, to his, uh, used, to his, used his account to maybe bet on a hockey game. Oh, I heard it wasn't NHL betting. It, it, it came out there was a third party. But here's the weird thing. You're. Allowed oh, no, no, you're to not allowed bet to bet on sports, but you're not allowed to bet on NHL games. Yet, he's been suspended for 42 games, but, you can't, but they say he hasn't bet on NHL he, games. They didn't, but it was a third party, oh, and you're not allowed to let a third party use your account to bet. That's he what it said, was. He said, she said. Yeah. Like, well, I don't, we know. don't know. They must have done an investigation, and they we suspended don't know. him 41 well, games. Well, what's a third so. party? Would that be his wife using yeah. his account his to wife, bet or His wife, his buddies, uh, yeah, maybe, a bookie. Yeah. Somebody that he gave the account information, but, but to. to me, it's it's two faced, right? If it's you're if you're totally, going to allow, yeah, like you know, you're going to take money from one hand, yeah. If from you're going all in on companies gambling, for oh my advertising, God. well, there's been a big backlash on that advertising because it's been so much. And realistically, and kids are watching the game yeah. and they're well, trying to get them into betting. Yeah. Well, not only that, like I, I again, I you know, I'm walking around Vegas, yeah. and and literally every second ad that yeah. you see on these giant. These giant screens all over the casinos is a former athlete. Yeah, yeah. That's Gretzky that's, is one of the biggest names well, there, right? There's there's Gretzky, like McDavid, Eli Manning, pa- racing Peyton Manning. the Zambonis. Yeah, yeah. It's, racing it's, the Zambonis. Tiger Woods. It's it's all Phil Nicholson. It's all gambler. <laughs> He's oh. a big gambler. Right? Too soon. Oh, I don't know. Lefty is a big gambler. Yeah. 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 Anyways, no JB's right. It's it's saturated and. A lot of a lot of the young it's people, I think, can't, can't critically Hi- look at it. Hypocritical, hypocritical, hypocritical of them yeah. to. Uh, I agree. Get so much money in from advertising yeah. Yeah. and from bet betting sites. In a way, and like I suspend, suspend a guy. In a way, I feel bad for the kid. For betting, right? Like it's it's. He's not. Too. Yeah, he's not eligible poor, to play poor until decision. late January. You know, yeah. he's he's not. There was a whole signing issue because oh. of the cap. Yeah. And then... Or because of that. Then no. he gets suspended. No, no, they didn't know until September. So he's not playing this season, essentially. No, he's going to be back in late January. Who knows? He'll get in some games at the Well, end. he's not even signed. Maybe they'll trade they'll him to Vegas. Him. They can still sign him. But yeah. they don't have any cap room because of mismanagement of the cap. But that's what I'm saying. So they can't sign him. Why so don't they suspend Dorian for 41 games? Well, there's another thing coming up with the Sens, actually. Yeah. That whole Dadadnoff, 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 Dadadnoff uh, trade. Yeah. So there's going to be some punishment for the Sens there because they oh. lied about his no trade clause. <laughs> they said that he d- <laughs> that Dadadnoff did not give them his ten yeah. team no trade oh, list. Oh, for God's sakes! But of course he did. He did. And they traded him to a t- place he didn't. He want ended to go. up going to Vegas, right? Yeah. But yeah, well, Vegas was probably allowed. I don't know what happened there because they were they were training them to Vegas. I don't know what happened. Who exactly. wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to yeah, play? Who wouldn't play in Vegas? Vegas? Well, but that's the thing. Like those well, guys can afford the, a, They can afford the seven dollar Starbucks coffees. Yeah, but anyway, they're gonna get punished for that. Well, it might be a first round pick. Yeah, all right, there. You're doing You're no, having an argument with your, your phone. phone. My is, gloves are not. Are they sensitive s- enough? Are they supposed to be? Uh, 
phone uh, they're, phone they're gloves? just my they're my bike riding gloves which were tucked in this coat so i was very happy is to that find uh, them this morning uh, is that uh princess auto gloves they are i think pa- they power, are power fist power fist yeah. Yeah, it's Princess Auto. Princess Auto. Is it? That's brand. a brand they yeah. have? Yeah, that's their brand. I should yeah. go oh, get last night I went. Let's just get a new Have pair. you guys heard of this, this store called Decathlon? Of course. Yeah. yeah. I was there last night. Very low-end quality goods, but cheap. Is that in the East End? Yeah. Saint Laurent Boulevard. Saint Laurent, yeah. yeah. We did, uh, I did some filming there last night. Oh, that was your uh, side hustle. That was hustle. my uh, side hustle. At the, the Decathlon. Filming. Yeah, at the Decathlon last night. Oh, for the boxing, accessibility yeah, sports. Boxing without barriers, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was uh, it was a good interview and uh, great footage and stuff like that. Yeah, but neat, uh, it's a neat store. I've bought some stuff there. I, I went over to the boots section because, as you guys know, I'm looking. You need for, another pair of boots, do you? For my son, and um, I bought a pair after my great what, deal there. What kind now. of boots? Winter uh, boots. winter boots. Because I I need some work boots for for the. I don't know if they have work boots. The there. lot, cheap work boots. I'm looking for cheap work boots. Actual work boots. I'm using my chainsaw. Right, like okay. so, I'd like to get some steel, steel toes. toes. Yeah. Go to uh, what's that store? We're promoting stores here, but go to the one that's um, <laughs> Mister Work Boots or Mister Safety Shoes. That's what it's called, Mister oh, Safety, Mr. Safety Shoes. Well, pr- yeah. yeah, Princess Auto doesn't have work boots. I guess. Although Canadian Tire, I didn't see anything. Canadian Tire has some clearance on right now. Do they? Yeah, so you might be able to. F- we were there yesterday. Maybe Amazon. Remember that? Yes, I Saw did. How clearance? could I forget? Yeah. How could I forget? Um, so Just anyway, a quick coffee, and you we'd like to me in there. thank our sponsors for this <laughs> episode. We have no sponsors. Yeah. We need a sponsor. So the, uh, the we um, can't even get anybody to email. I just want somebody to <laughs> legitimately send an email in. I think we lost Cop our Romanian car coffee at gmail dot com. Just one person sent. Do you an email even check? You check the email? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think you're right about the cheapness of the goods at the Cathlon because I yeah. went and checked out the boots. Yeah. Didn't recognize any of the names. No. No. It was like Zhao Jingjing. Made boot. in Malaysia. Made in China. Oh, that's it's all fine. these Chinese Everything's brands. made in China, I guess. Yeah. Even the good quality but stuff. But they were you cheap. Get, yeah, you get good quality and bad quality yeah, from they, everywhere. They were, they were from cheap. everywhere. Yeah. Like 30 60 bucks, bucks. 60. 70 bucks for Your a pair of winter cheap boots. cheap and mine are different. What's cheap for you? 30 bucks, probably. Oh, well, they probably had 30 buck boots there. You know what? I don't really buy stuff uh, other than in consignment stores anymore. My boots are a good example of that right now. Check these out. Those are Timberlands. You've heard of the Timberland brand? Yeah. yeah. You know those, how much they cost brand new? Those are great yeah. boots. You know how much they cost brand new though? Yeah. yeah. Hundreds, right? Yeah, yeah. Where did guess what I paid? Thirty bucks? Twenty five. Where'd you buy those? Plato's Closet. Consignment store. Really? Yeah. This was a fu- this was one of my best finds ever. Like I don't I don't imagine you can just walk in there and get a pair, but this episode of Cop Car if Coffee. You, if Run you consistently you look for Decathlon, something Plato's Cosmo, week after Canadian week, tire. in about a month, you'll probably find what you're looking for if my, you're patient. My wife swears by places like Ross and Marshalls and Winners and well, they're Winners good. not bad. They're good. Winners not bad, but they're not secondhand stores. That's still brand new. No, stuff. no, yeah. yeah, but but you can find like yes. I don't know, like a Patagonia coat yes. that would be five hundred dollars, one hundred percent, eighty bucks. If, if you're patient right? and you'll go week after but week, but it's exactly yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Value yeah. Village is similar, I guess. Le Village, we call it Le Village. Value Village is, yeah, probably where I buy most of my clothing. Like, if I need something, I'll go to Value Village. Really? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't need to be in style. I don't need anything new. Really? eh? Yeah. Yeah. Like, DDT is just different, different level of style, I guess. Like, the new stuff, lights the the fancy labels. and not very, that's not true at all. I do a lot of my shopping at Le Village. Really? Yeah. I didn't know Mm. that. I do. Where'd you buy the the fancy boots? Well, that wasn't there. That was like a I checked Hudson's Le Village there, Bay, but you I can't, believe. You couldn't really. Hudson's it was Hudson's Bay, Bay yeah. yeah. Hudson's see? Bay Company. I haven't been to Hudson's Bay in this 20 years. This episode of Cop Car Coffee brought to you by. Am I, I parked behind your uh, your car. Am I in trouble? Does your uh, your better half has to go well, anywhere? We'll find out in a minute. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, you're going to be asked to move the car. I, yeah, I just figured I got to move my car. <laughs> <laughs> All oh right. my God! How often you does this parked, happen during you a podcast? Parked behind you want to open the uh, garage door? There, you should have oh, parked behind the work vehicle. No, you go the bottom one. Right. How often does this happen during a podcast oh, where somebody has to move their car? You the get to leave it. next, and then right? Jay. So right now it's you and me, and then you leave next, and then it's yeah. me and JP. 
I'll go to the washroom We've and check all left out that the door. Podcast today. I'll go and check that door. <laughs> it's it's cold now. Jeez, I don't it's even know where she's going. Can you ask her where she's going, JB? She's going shopping. Spending more money. She's going to get food, man. No, she went last night. Probably spent like two hundred bucks. Really, eh? <sighs> Came back with everything. So I told you about my cost savings hack recently. Yes. Do you remember what it was? No. Just don't go grocery shopping. Oh yeah, right. You said you gave yeah. up going grocery shopping. <laughs> just let you just let your my wife. My wife do does it, the right? grocery yeah. shopping, and she yeah. we've always done the weekend Costco trip. Yeah. But I've often supplemented it with just like a, a food basics trip as well. Right. But I've experimented over the last month or so and just simply skipped it. Yeah. And I've dug into the freezer and just grabbed more food out yeah. of there. Well, and we're, we're, hit your card. F one fifty. That that'll be unacceptable. No, she didn't. Um, so yeah, yeah like yeah. it just shows you that we we tend to do a lot of shopping that we don't need to do. Yeah. So what am I saving? About eighty bucks a week, probably. It adds up. Yeah. Well, we were pretty bare bones in our. Uh, <laughs> what, <was> the, <laughs> what was that? What the, we were pretty bare bones in our cupboards and our fridge. So. Yeah, like but we, were you we really? Were, Hit the uh, enter now button you on there. Now you still Maybe. do the good food, don't you? Yes, we do. So you do good food, yeah, and you do Costco, and well, you do Cos- here's Costco though, bread. Okay, so you don't do the weekly Costco like no, like many no, like us. No. Okay. Like I go in there because it has the sprouted bread, but that's gotten really expensive. Now. Yeah, so you keep your membership, but you just go sporadic. Yeah, I think Costco. But that really sprouted bread is still good. It is good, but it's really gone up in price. It's now okay. nine bucks, nine fifty for a couple loaves. Well, there you go. See, I will not pay nine dollars for a loaf of bread. But that well, seems it's two loaves. But that seems to be four fifty each. <laughs> that seems to be me. the price. Groceries are just out. It's the price if you choose to buy right it. Now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What I kind of bread do you buy? I was just Wh- telling white. DDT I don't buy bread. No? No. No. I don't really eat bread. Nobody eats bread? Well, like the, the ba- wife will bagels, buy bread. Bagels, pita. No, the wife will buy bread. What I love to buy, again, Costco, is the big bag of buns. If I've got a craving for bread, those friggin' fresh buns are amazing. The Ooh. triangle buns? No. No. The the, the round ones. They're oh. sometimes stuck together. Okay. They're fantastic, They're man. They're fresh. Focaccia. Nice. With uh, with soup, chili, uh, sandwiches, whatever. The focaccia buns? I don't think that's what they're called, no. no. Mm. no you, um, I, know you, I know you like saying it, but no. Focaccia. 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 <laughs> Focaccia? So, did you go to Sasso? Sasso. It's yeah. Focaccia. Sasso. Focaccia. <laughs> Sasso. Sasso. Did you do a Sasso run? I will do the Food sauce. Food basis? The, sauce the, the only later. way anybody will understand this is if they've listened to exactly. You got to go way so back for that way. one. Did you go do, did you, do you ever shop at Food Basis? It's more no frills. <laughs> more no frills for me. Sigh. Yeah, I know. Thank you for moving the car. Yes, yeah. thank you for yeah. that, my wife. Where did she go? Did I don't you know. Ask I her? didn't ask her. It's none of my oh. business. All right. Going Shh. To- I got to go buy some more dogs. Somewhere food. more exciting than this. Right. <laughs> I, oh I'm guessing God. more food. More food I for you guys. Really. Yeah. She maybe had bags. She had bags, so I don't know. Well, that was from was, last night. Maybe she was going to grocery store. back in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, wh- anything else was on the agenda? I don't remember. I think that's about it. Like uh, That's cop, car, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> We'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah, like like at the beginning. Like <laughs> I think we. <laughs> well, it's ten thirty, dude. What are we? Ten forty-four. Ten forty-four. We're, we're we like at? an hour and a half. What we're are we only at forty-seven minutes. Forty-eight oh. mi- minutes. We got to talk. Oh, we talked too much before, I guess. Well, I don't know. It was a pretty enlightening show at the beginning. I don't think we got much more. We talked Vegas. We talked travel, cost-saving hacks. Did we? Uh, did movie. We, did we have a date to go to Lake Placid? Oh yeah, oh. we gotta uh, we gotta talk about that. My uh, Do daughter's we have to talk about that on air. Okay. No, we don't have to. But <laughs> we, we can. My, my daughter's first game is actually today. She's oh. starting. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nice. Where She's are they starting. playing? I think they're at home. Why oh no, no, no! They're away. I they're believe. away. Otherwise, we could have went away. this weekend. Yeah. yeah, I believe they are. They away. are away. Yeah, they are away. I, I could have driven they... straight there. I wonder where. Was it Utica? Frick, JB could have. Yeah, he could have went. Yeah, he could have gone straight. Utica. Is it Utica? Well, the Utica would be perfect. It'd be the same driving pattern as the flight pattern, That's really true. far east and then north. <laughs> so from Syracuse, you could have went way east to <laughs> Utica it Vermont? and then north. I well, Utica's in New York. I know Utica's in New York. Are you sure? Yes. Is your geography as good as your math? It, my geography is way <laughs> better than my math. 
Anyhow, uh, sh- I don't know. I think we were looking at mid to late November, and I am totally up in the air on that because because if you're Vegas, I'm also thinking Vegas, and I'm also thinking. Well, JB uh, and I will go. You how, guys could go. How long we'll do you go. normally go when you go to Vegas? And you oh, stay, here we go again. You stay it all depends. in Vegas, right? It all depends. Like if it was a uh, a quick weekend trip, yeah, it'd just be two or three nights and back. Mm. Here we go again. You normally stay at the Mandalay or the MGM? Almost always Mandalay Bay. But Mandalay is MGM, isn't it? Like they're, they're all affiliated. they're all kind of owned by. They're affiliated. Because I know we were in Harrah's, and then there's the Flamingo that was beside yeah. us. And then there's also the link that was beside us. They're all they're they're affiliated, and they're all Caesar's Palace. Yeah, that's actually the main competition, I guess. The yeah. MGM. Yeah. Now I had a bad experience at MGM Uh-oh. when I went two times ago. Cop car and coffee. It's is forever not referred to, you by, to by the clan MGM. as the chicken wings in the pool incident. So, <laughs> uh, do they tell. have a, they do have tell. a beautiful, huge, All lazy of a sudden, river. The, the cop, the and podcast. This got was on track. during the big summer trip of 2019, I guess. And we were so looking forward to the lazy river and all that. And we got there, and it was a, it was a lot of partiers, and there was a lot of chicken wings being eaten. And it seemed that every bend around the pool, there'd be chicken wings in the pool. Oh, really? <laughs> and it just didn't <laughs> do it for me. So I was really resistant to ever go back there. But they didn't clean the pool? Like but somebody then, wasn't out there with the, the pool boy wasn't out there with a skimmer? Oh, well, they have to shut it down if they had it have been could have had a this story wouldn't exist. Get that out of my mind. But then when I was offered up basically a free stay there by by the relatives who tend to gamble a lot, I said, Sure, I'll give it another try. And it was actually quite entertaining. Less so chi- anyhow. Less chicken wings? Yeah, there was no chicken wings, so I guess the whole point of it is MGM was nice. It was only two or three nights. So you stayed in the actual MGM. Oh, yeah. I've stayed in the actual MGM a couple times. Which is apparently the biggest hotel in the world. (sighs) It's huge. That thing must have 10,000 rooms. That's what they... That's what... That we like somebody yeah. said when I was there, it's the biggest hotel in the <coughs> world because Most it's rooms. got major wings, and each wing alone wings. is the size of a Chicken normal wings. of a normal hotel, right? So you know what blew me away when I was there? What the amount of people smoking? Tons of smoking, and you can friggin' still smoke in half the casinos. It is yeah. so unpleasant, yeah. which I don't like either. No, mm. uh, yeah. And well, Mandalay is, is so beautiful, though. We've been there most of the times, but I've also stayed at Luxor. But they're expensive. It depends when you go, I guess. It was I like, remember, they're high rollers. Four or five hundred dollars a night. It they depends. Get US. They get free, remember. What so, do you pay, JB? So, again, it depends on when when you go. Okay. I'm not a high. I don't get comps. Whenever I go, I'm paying. I don't, yeah. I don't have any sort of... Uh, program or whatever like my sister but how does that work they just know because she's been there before well she has an account they she calls them up and says i'd like to come whenever and they say no problem and she doesn't even pay because they know what she spends really yeah it's based on your spending wow so it's good though like she spends a predictable amount and i'm i think she does well sometimes and sometimes she doesn't anyhow uh wouldn't you normally come out on the losing end at a casino? Well, theoretically, yeah, that's why they exist. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I think she does well sometimes. Right. Anyways, I really like Mandalay. I've stayed at the Luxor a couple times, which is right beside it, which is nice, too. It's a little cheaper. You asked me what I pay. The last, when we swung through on Route 66, it was freaking August, midweek, and we were paying about 150 a night. Wow. Which is great, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a good deal. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I went, I think the previous time around Easter, maybe, again, Mandalay, I paid, I think I paid 110 a night. Wow. For one night only. And then I got the free room over at the chicken wing place. The So the Luxor, did you, were you staying in the in the actual pyramid? Yes, in the pyramid at the Luxor. That's that was 2019. That's pretty cool. That was neat. The kids like that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little it's, more kid-friendly, a nice pool, everything. It's really neat. Like, it's just cool in there. It's nice. Now, I also stayed at the Flamingo Yeah. in the earlier days. That was This was... Nice pool there, actually. This was back when prices were reasonable. This might have been, like, 2000s. So we actually went to the pool there. It's a nice hotel. As well, yeah. yeah it's a nice spot. It's, it's all affiliated, so... Yeah, yeah. And I think way back in the early years... <laughs> Before we realized it was cheap on the strip, we stayed at like friggin' just regular chain hotels off the strip. Mm. Yeah, but no, it's a it's a great town. We're still talking about it, eh? Mm. 
We could talk about Matthew Perry again if you'd prefer. It, it's, or we could it's, talk about my parking ticket. No, no, we've no we're been good. There. We're sh- yeah, killed, <laughs> killed that. We horse. could do. A, we should do a cast from Vegas. That's what we should do. Wouldn't that be uh, fun? Well, are we? Go- aren't we going to do a cast from uh, the, the on our weekend game at uh, PSC? We could do that. We could do one from the Barn Cave, which you guys still won't come out to do one there. It's getting know. cold. I'm, I'm, it's I'm getting wait. chilly. The Barn Cave it doesn't have power this. though. We were gonna do one from your uh, Ziggy's. Uh, I've got a. I've got garage a garage cave. There. No, no, no. It's got power. Like we well, can. It? Well, the, the mm. camper we has could, power. We, we wire make, into the camper. If we have mm. a warmer Sunday, slightly warmer, even this temperature, we could just make a little fire. I've right got there. a fire. Let's figure out when we're gonna we go to the fire. game because uh, they. Uh, my daughter will be back for um, their Thanksgiving week. This right. this upcoming weekend, I'm busy. And I so, have plans. Yeah, we have plans. This Same. Week. I don't have any plans this weekend, so. And then Something the weekend, weekend. After. I have no plans for that. You don't have no plans this weekend? Not the upcoming weekend, no. I do. It's got to be a weekend in late November. And I think yeah, there's well, we a couple a, options. Well, they're off for a couple of weeks there, right? They play a, f- a f- number of games in a row, and then they're off because of the... I'll have to double check yeah. this guy. So you know, you know I'm a planner, so try to give me like a bit of heads up. Yeah. And then we'll do the cast from there. And we got to try to still find camping, right? You guys are okay with that. You might need to buy a, a warmer sleeping bag or just bring a couple. Yeah. Are those little yeah. cabins heated? I think they are. I was picturing tents. What oh cabins? God. Well, when you go to the KOA, for oh, example. Oh, we could try the KOA ca- if there's something. Little cabins. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. They're heated for sure. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. Because we'll that, that. that would be good. Well, that's right. the plan. I thought you guys wanted tent camp. I'll whip make, up some dates for you guys. Make a fire outside. Yeah. Because I also got to do a dad bod. So you know what? We have could some, ski. Have some kiln-dried wet wood. Kiln? Let's bring the boards. Do some skiing, too. If uh, I don't snowboard. I don't ski. Boards. Uh, you could bring your ski boards. You I ski, don't you, downhill? I do. Okay, good. Bring them. <laughs> DDT, you can sit in the lodge. And uh, do apres ski the whole time. There you go. Yeah. Good. That's Cop Car Coffee. This time we mean it. Do do we? Jeez. Uh, Are we done now? Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Oh. Was, uh, you were really excited about the cop car coffee last time. You're oh, like, in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you're that like, was the perfect time. You're like, we're done. I thought that was the perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. done. We're done. We're, no, we're oh. not done.